Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this paper folding reveal animation in After Effects. It is very easy to create and all this without using any third party plugin. So let's begin. Alright, so I'm in After Effects and here you can see that I have already imported a couple of files. So first is this paper animation. So I will put a link in the description from where you can download this for free. So once you have downloaded this, then you can import it in After Effects and you are ready to go. So second is this logo, but it's completely up to you. You can use any logo, video, image or text even. So once you are done with this, just import them in After Effects and you are ready to go. So first we are going to create a new composition. So let's call this one main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want just click on ok now i'm going to create another composition for our media so let's call this media and rest of the things will remain same just click on ok so open up the media comp and we are going to quickly drag our logo and it's completely up to you, you can use whatever logo or you can even use text image or video file just like this so once you're done with this let's go back to the main composition and on this one, I'm going to quickly drag my paper animation, something like this. So let's turn off the transparency for now. So here you can see we have the paper reveal. And now let's quickly import our media, which we want to reveal with this paper. Now I'm going to import one more copy of this paper animation, but this time I'm going to place this on top of the media. So I want the logo to appear where we have this paper. So in order to do that, I'm going to just simply change its track mat option. So I'm going to select the media and I'm going to change the track mat. So you can just simply pick whip and just select the paper animation, which is on top of it. Or you can just simply select this from here. Now, in case you are using the older version of After Effects, then you won't have these pick whip or this drop down. Instead, you have a single drop down, which will say track mat layer so just make sure that place the paper texture on top of the logo and after that just change this to track mat so once you're done with this if i play back here you can see that we have the logo and it is being revealed with the help of the paper but still you can see that the logo is just placed on top of it we are not able to see any kind of texture in the logo so in order to do that we can just simply change the blending modes so we can just select the layer and under the modes we can just simply set this to multiply and right away you can see that we have little bit of texture on top of our logo and you can see that now it looks more of embedded instead of just lying on top of it and if i play back we have created this so far but you will notice that still we are not able to get the paper effect on the logo it looks like that this is just placed on top of it so before we proceed a lot of you watching right now have not subscribed to my channel and i want you to please do that because i want to hit 100k subscriber this year on my channel so make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon so let's continue so now to do that we can apply a couple of effects so first i'm going to search for displacement effect so let's search for displacement and just drag the displacement map on top of this media and let's select the displacement map layer and i'm going to set this to this bottom paper animation something like this so now we can animate the displacement x and y something like this to add a little bit of distortion to this so in order to do that i'm going to go to the very beginning and i'm going to add keyframes for both of these values something like this now i'm going to set this to something like 50 and this to something like 150 maybe but it, these values are completely up to you so let's select the layer press u to see our keyframes now we can move a couple of frames ahead something like 10 or 12 something like here and now i'm going to just lower down these values so i'm going to set this to 10 and this to something like 50 and let's move a couple of frames ahead like two or three frames something like this and i'm going to set both of these values to something like zero just like this or if you want you can just set this to five a little bit and this to five as well so that we have a little bit of variation now if i play back here you can see we have a little bit of movement in the logo in the beginning with our paper rolling but we can tweak this further so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the keyframes so right click and turn on toggle hold keyframe so now you can see that we have created this animation and as you can see that in the beginning our logo looks like that it is being unwrapped with this paper as well which is exactly what we want so we are pretty much done with this if you want you can apply curves to create some highlights but that's completely up to you since it is a transparent something like this so you can just apply it on top of any video footage or image whatever you want so this is how you can create these kind of animations. Also, the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And in case you are not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. 
now we are done with this tutorial in case you want to skip this part then it's completely up to you but in case you are interested in how i created this paper crumbling effect this paper animation footage this one then you can just follow along so i created this in blender and let me show you how i did that so here i am in blender and this is the animation that i created and i'm going to show you how i did that quickly so let me just quickly select everything so i'm going to press a let's press h so hide everything now first thing i did was i created a plane so shift a let's go to mesh and let's create a plane and now i'm going to scale this up so press s 10 to scale this 10 times now let's add some subdivision so press tab right click subdivided so i'm going to subdivide it something like 50 so that we have bunch of divisions press tab again so after this i created an icosphere so shift a go to mesh and i created an icosphere it's completely up to you, you can use uv sphere as well so icosphere now let's press s and i'm going to scale this up so that it fits the plane completely something like this now on this one we are going to apply a modifier called solidify because we need little bit of geometry so let's open up modifier and solidify now you can toggle up the this and it's completely up to you. you can play around with the thickness you don't have to do too much so once we're done with this we can just simply go out of this let's change this to solid mode now after that i just selected the icosphere and under the physics i made this as a collision object and the plane let me just quickly hide this and the plane which we have over here i set this to as a cloth material so now if I play back, here you can see we have this crumbling kind of effect because our icosphere is shrinking and it is since it is a collision object, so it is taking the cloth with it. Now, in order to make this into a much better shape, then we can just simply play around with a couple of things. So over here we have a bunch of different presets, so I selected the leather one. Now you can play around with these properties and you can see that already we are able to see much better results. So I just shaded this as smooth to get much better output and for the cloth i also set all the gravity to zero now if i play back here you can see we have the crumbling kind of effect after this i just added a paper image texture on top of it to give it a really nice look and after that i just simply rendered it out in cycles so i hope you learned something from this one and in case you have any queries or questions then you can ask in the comments below so that's it for this video my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one